started the sideshow craze in America? It's not who you think it was. Even P.T. Barnum, the renowned owner of the Barnum and Bailey Circus, called this man the father of the American circus. So who was he? And how was he connected to a small, abandoned, little sad cemetery I found on the outskirts of New York City? A friend of mine sent me this picture and he said, you have to go and find this cemetery. Could these be the Baileys who were attached to the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus? Growing up, I went many times. Could this be that family? It took me a few months to finally get time to go in search of this cemetery. And I did find it in a town called Somers, New York, about an hour away from New York City. There were only a few readable stones and a lot of them had been knocked over and broken. There were obvious signs of vandalism and wear. And there was a tree stump with a damaged geocaching box inside of it. I should have signed that book, it was pretty cool. If I get back there, I will. The town of Somers, New York is directly connected to the circus industry. And I wanted to know how, I wanted to know who were these people that were buried in this poor little plot of land? And were they connected to the Baileys from the Barnum and Bailey Circus? So I started to do some research. Hakaliah Bailey was born in 1775 in Somers, New York. And like his father, he became a farmer. He would farm his land, but he also raised cattle. Hakaliah was always looking for other ways to make money. He became part owner in a sloop down on the Hudson River and he would drive his cattle to the river, put them on the sloop and sail them to the stockyards in New York City. Now the stockyard that he went to was also attached to a place called the Bull's Head Tavern. It was on Bowery and the, set, the cattle would be sold and then the men would hang out at the tavern. George Washington, who lived around the corner at the time, was said to have stopped at the tavern on November 25th 1783 on his triumphant return to New York City. The tavern opened in 1750 and was said to have been used as a recruitment center for loyalists fighting for the British in the Revolutionary War. The tavern was also later owned by Henry Astor, the patriarch of the famous Astor family. He was a butcher at the time. But at this time in history, it was a tavern where the drovers would be hanging out. And it was at this place that somehow he made a deal to buy an African elephant. Now, Hakaliah planned to use the elephant as a draft animal on his farm. The elephant that he bought had been around for a number of years and had been shown in Boston, but he made a deal to buy the elephant for $1,000. In today's money, that's over $23,000. So he bought the elephant and he had it brought to his farm. But when he realized how interested people were in this exotic animal, he decided, hmm, he could make a little bit of money. And so he would charge people 25 cents to see the elephant. And in today's money, that's almost $6 to see the elephant. He would charge a family, a full family could see the elephant for coin or a couple of bottles of rum. Eventually, he decided to take the show on the road. And he started to travel with the elephant and some other acts and decided to call it Bailey's Circus. Bailey's Circus included Old Bet, trained dogs, some horses and wagons, and some pigs. In 1808, he rented out two thirds of the elephant to two other gentlemen, and they had the right to show Old Bet as well. Sadly, on July 24, 1816, a farmer in Alfred, Maine, upset that poor people were spending their money just to see wild animals, shot and killed Old Bet. Bailey built a monument to Old Bet in Somers, New York. He built what's known as the Elephant Hotel, which still stands today. And in front of it, a monument with a sculpture of Old Bet on the top. The Elephant Hotel became a very important stagecoach stop for the Eagle and Redbird lines from Westchester County, New York to Danbury, Connecticut. 
It served as an inn for travelers and a meeting place for other menagerie and circus folk. The inn was known as the best hostelry between New York and Albany. In 1817, Old Bet's skeleton was retrieved. And in 1821, it was mounted and exhibited at the American Museum in New York City. 10 years later, P.T. Barnum, for whom Hakaliah Bailey was a role model, would acquire that museum. Sadly, Old Bet's bones and hide were thought to have been lost in one of the many fires that Barnum suffered in his museums and circuses through the years. Hakaliah Bailey and P.T. Barnum, or Phineas Taylor Barnum, never partnered in the circus business. As a matter of fact, P.T. Barnum, in his autobiography, or one of his many autobiographies, stated that he remembered meeting Hakaliah when he was young at a store his father had set up for him in hopes that he could make a living as a merchant because, as Barnum said in the autobiography as well, he felt he was the laziest man in town, and obviously his father concurred, figuring that he could never make a living having to lift a hand. His father bought and set up a store for him in Bethel, Connecticut, and Hakaliah Bailey came to the store at one point and he met him. P.T. Barnum did not get into the circus business until 1871 when he was 61 years old. And it wasn't until 1888 that he lent his name to a partnership with James Anthony Bailey, whose birth name was actually James Anthony McGinnis. He had been orphaned when he was young, went east trying to find work, and somehow ended up working for Frederick Bailey, the nephew of Hakaliah Bailey, and taking his surname. And that is how Barnum and Bailey Circus was born. My question was, how did the Baileys of the Barnum and Bailey Circus have any connection to this little cemetery that I found? So I went in search of that connection. Hey guys, I'm popping in here while I'm editing because I want to show you the process I went through to figure out the connection between the Barnum and Bailey Baileys and the little Bailey Cemetery that I visited in Somers, New York. So the first thing I did was I started with Hakaliah Bailey since he's the father of the American Circus. And Hakaliah was married three times. First he had Elizabeth, and then Ruth, and then Mary, with whom he had eight children. But that wasn't the key. I had to go back one more step because Hakaliah, whose father was James, had an uncle named DeVoe. And DeVoe had a son named Levi. And Levi had a son named Frederick. Frederick Harrison Bailey, the same Bailey who adopted James A. McGinnis, who became James Bailey, and eventually partnered with P.T. Barnum to create the Barnum and Bailey Circus. So who's buried in this little cemetery that I went to? We've got Frederick, Right next to him, his parents, Levi and Priscilla, and on the other side, his brother DeVoe, who was named after his grandfather. That's the connection. These are the Baileys of the Barnum and Bailey Circus. They just didn't know it yet. Hakaliah Bailey was a farmer, but he didn't sit still very much. He was involved in a lot of different things and always looking for different ways to make money. Hakaliah Bailey served two terms in the New York State Legislature, and then he sold the hotel in 1837, and he moved to Northern Virginia with his family. He moved the entire family to a piece of land he bought near Falls Church, Virginia, and it became known as Bailey's Crossroads. And this is where the circus would winter every year. In 1845, Hakaliah came back to New York, to Somers, to visit family. And while he was here, he was kicked by a horse and passed away. And so he is buried in Ivendale Cemetery, also in Somers, New York. I went to Ivendale Cemetery and I found his resting place. He is buried next to his last wife, Mary. His monument reads, Enterprise, Perseverance, Integrity. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of history about the American Circus. If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate if you could like it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I upload next. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.